Welcome everyone to a very special edition of the Front End Guild. I have decided to edit this little piece of the presentation out uh, and bring it to you in a small video format because we had some very exciting news uh, to share. And uh, I know that not everybody's able to make it to the Guild appointments. So I wanted to edit this down for you to uh, share the awesome journey that we went on. Uh, so gather round, uh, get yourself a light beverage as we like to enjoy in the Front End Guild on a Friday afternoon. Thank you, Philip, for not sharing that with HR. Um, I want to tell you a story, and it is a story of the MVP. So, a long time ago, Bill went on holiday. He decided to rent out an RV van with his wife and two dogs, and they went on a big drive. They went all around Italy, they went through France. Sorry, they went all around Spain, they went through France, and they ended up in Italy. And it was a very nice RV camper van, just like here, that we see from Breaking Bad. So, when I was away on this holiday, I thought to myself, you know, I'll be easy on the guys who've been working really hard on what we were calling the refactory at the time. I left them a couple of small tasks to work on and I thought this will be great. I'll have a nice week off. I'll enjoy myself. They can relax a little bit, have an easier going week, do some learning. Um, but to my surprise, when I returned, the guys had been in mega crunch the entire time I'd been away. They hadn't done the small tasks that I'd set out for them. They'd blasted on ahead and they'd built so much, actually to the point that what you're seeing now in the MVP it was actually nearly built, um, but I hadn't spelled out very well to them the structure that I kind of wanted to take. I was working in a bank and I was standing on the shoulders of giants, basically looking at this amazing architecture that they call the layering system. Uh, I spoke to Oscar about this and he gave me some really great feedback that a way we could kind of organize this a little bit easier and explain it would be called the atomic structure. Uh, I'm sure every one of you, or most of you anyway, have heard me say the word atomic five million times in the last uh, month or two. Uh, so yeah, this is the atomic structure we're talking about. So it wasn't great news um, because it meant that the guys had to kind of tear down what was built there uh, and, and build everything over again. So as you can imagine, you have been working really, really, really hard while your, uh, your, your team lead has taken a month off, or not a month, taken a week off, and then you come back and they tell you to restart it. So it's never going to be good news. Uh, so it wasn't very, wasn't the most popular decision, that's for damn sure. So I've made this slide black because it was a very, a very black day in history. We will forever call it a day. I will look back through my calendar. It was the 21st of February, 2022, a day we shall never forget. It was the day that Bill dropped the atomic bomb. The news went down kind of like this. Kaboom. Everyone's mind exploded. Why is this idiot coming back from holiday and telling us to redo our work and build it in this new structure that makes no sense to anybody? Uh, where is this news coming from? Uh, let's kill this guy. We hit him. This is pretty much the, uh, the general consensus of the team. And I don't blame them because I would have felt exactly the same way in their shoes. So Demi was kind of like all pissed off about Lego Brocks and whatnot. He was like, oh man, we really got to rebuild this again. Loco, for the first time ever, took a day off work. He went completely AFK, didn't respond to any of my messages for 24 hours. It was very upsetting for me. I thought I'd lost my best friend. Uh, pretty much everybody in, uh, in Front End Guild was kind of feeling this way. Everybody in Front End of Admin was pretty much hating me. And uh, again, I, I really don't blame them. It was a really crappy thing to do to leave very minimal instructions and uh, not expect that these absolute stallions would run off into the field uh, and have a great time. Uh, which is exactly what they did. So yeah, everyone was hating me, and it took a it took a lot of a lot of turning around. But we, much like Homer Simpson here, we we did a lot of thinking, like up in the top left. Uh, we did a lot of working, a lot of trial and error, as you see Homer with his lovely little corn cob pipe and his scrumpled up paper. And we had a few rage quits, to be honest with you. So uh, yeah, we it was very very difficult process, a whole new way of thinking, um, a lot of a lot of learning and a lot of hard work from everybody. Uh, but yeah, what was great was. We all really came together as a team, just like the Ninja Turtles here, like we are brothers and we worked super hard and we came together, we, we picked each other up, we educated each other, we tried new things, we innovated, we shared ideas, uh, we had show and tell videos, um, and I, I can't say enough good things about how all the guys came together and really turned it around and took what was very bad news, put a positive spin on it and went with it and man, what a result, let's get to that in a second though. So this was a long time ago, as you can remember. This was on the 21st of February when I dropped the A-bomb. And life became like this for a little while. We got out of bed and we coded and we went back to bed. We got out of bed, we coded, we went back to bed. We got out of bed and we coded and we went back to bed. And that is pretty much what we did for week after week after week. It was a little bit like this sometimes. If you weren't tired, you kept coding. If you were tired, you got some coffee and you kept coding. So this is kind of a, a loop of our life for a while. 
sometimes it went a little bit like this, where it was like we were in the zone and we were like flying through chunks of code and massive merge requests were coming from Dimmy with 178 changes. Uh, so yeah, we were we were we were on fire. We were flying for a long, long time. It was amazing. And then other times my life was a little bit like this where the imposter syndrome kicked in and I was wondering, am I this idiot dog sitting in front of a laptop who's no idea what he was doing? Uh, thankfully, the plan came together very nicely with uh, a lot of support from um, my work husband, uh, Oscar. So thank you so much, Oscar, for all your help. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and uh, lots of good advice, lots of good talkings with all of the other kind of senior management guys, Nicholas. I remember the very good conversation that we had at the start of this. So yeah, there was times when I wondered, like, am I making the right decision? And uh, now I think uh, we can all kind of agree that the atomic structure is a very nice, flexible system that we can break up and do. We can break down and test and break up together into making a mono repo. It's a, we've done a really good thing, guys. So unbelievably, like I did the math today, this was 13 weeks of crunch, 13 weeks of hard, long days, no weekends often. I'll be honest with you, I always take at least one day for a weekend because like I'm an old man, but I do, like I get a sore head usually by a Saturday if I've been crunching for six days. Uh, but you guys uh, with your young spirit, like and, and the great energy, like there, I did notice there was multiple times when people didn't take any weekend and uh, you know, 60, 80 hour weeks were being put in for no joke and i did the math on this 13 weeks of crunch we did guys so it's superhuman what happened in in these 13 weeks and what do we get at the end of it we've got a beautiful new front end admin we were calling it the mvp uh, i spoke to ivan today and he said that's an insult to call this an mvp it's not an mvp it's like an almost finished product so uh, I'm super, super proud of everything, of all the effort, of all the education, of all the shared learning, uh, of all the team leading, the way you guys stepped up. Please let's not anyone forget that not only did the guys deliver this, we also onboarded five new members of staff. We have five new front end developers. That wasn't, that wasn't by no means done by me. That was like each person, you know, took on one or two you know, new members. So not only were they learning new stuff themselves, were pushing themselves to the limit to build this new front end. They were onboarding extra, they were onboarding new guys into their team. They were educating them. They were helping them learn the ways of work at Morales. Like it's insane what just happened in the last 13 months. So that's why I'm making this short presentation. I want to really, really iterate to everybody that this is the core Morales DNA. These people have done something that is beyond what anyone would ever have imagined or hoped for them to do. And I'm so, so proud of everything that you guys have done. So the fast side I want to show here, well, second last slide, actually you have a little one at the end, but the, the, I want to really to name and celebrate the fellowship of the Front End Guild. Uh, Loco, Danielli, Oscar, Dimitri and Ryan, you guys put in super, super human efforts. You uh, were completely selfless with your time. You gave up on your social life and on your hobbies and just committed everything to Morales, everything to saving me. Um, I, I, you, you guys could have completely thrown the toys out of the, thrown the Lego blocks, we'll say, Demi, wink, wink, threw the Lego blocks out of the, out of the pram and said, no, I'm pissed off with you. You made a bad decision. I'm not doing that. And that wasn't the attitude at all. Everybody got on board. Yeah, there was a bit of a shock at first. Of course, you've been working so hard and I told us, told everyone to start over but they got on board, we worked together. It's just real pure Morales DNA and energy and superhuman what happened. I really want to highlight this so much because I want this to be an example of what these five guys went through. I want this to be an example to everybody. Like whenever you have this new thing in front of you that seems undoable, like it, it, it never is. Like when you come together, like the, the these five guys and me to a lesser extent, uh, we came together, we worked on it, we found solutions, we, we innovated, we tried new things and we fell over and we fell down, but we picked each other up and we kept going and we kept pushing towards our goal. And when everybody is focused like that, like Ivan says, like with the spin wheel, like it's hard at the start, it was difficult, but we got the spin wheel going. And then it's got to the point like, you know, that the spin wheel's flying now. And all we got to do every now and again is put our foot down and give it a little push. So yeah, I really want this to be like a, an, an inspirational message to everyone in Morales, not just the development team, not just in front end, but we can do amazing things when we all focus and all put our minds to it and we're all pushing towards the same goal. And there's never in our team anyway, I don't think in the company at all, never a blame attitude, always a, okay, let's work on it. Let's get to the right solution together and let's build a solution. 
Finally, uh, something that we do every month at Front End Guild is we have our Front End Guild Goat of the Month. Uh, it does sound like an insult. I will just let you know that I, I, I thought I was being called a goat as an insult the first time, but it means the greatest of all time. So this month, the greatest of all time in Front End is uh, our boy, Ryan. He has put in a huge, huge, huge effort in the last month. Uh, last night especially, he stayed up very, very late and uh, finished a task that was... Something no one wanted to do, but we needed done for our mono repo. He got everything merged into master branch, got everything aligned, fixed a lot of tests, uh, did a lot of tweaks, pretty much like, you know, work that everybody was avoiding because none of us wanted to do it. And Ryan just steps up like he always does and uh, takes it on himself. And th with this task, as many others before in the last 13 weeks, he says to himself, you know what? I'm not going to bed till I get this finished. And that's the attitude is what I'm talking about. That like desire to impress your team he does it because he doesn't care about the kudos or care about the money he does well sorry he doesn't care about the kudos of the greater world or care about the money or whatever what ryan cares about is putting it up in our little room and us coming on the morning and giving him like the little crown emojis and the goat emojis and the dancing mario emojis uh yeah he does it for the props and uh that's something to be respected in a big way so ryan uh, oh, you already know this because you're in Front End Guild, but uh, just to share with the rest of the company uh, your great achievements. And uh, as I said, sorry, just to go back to reiterate the fellowship of the Front End Guild, all of you guys have done super, super human things here. So thank you so much for all the extra effort. Um, I can't say anything more positive about you. Please look forward to your 360 reviews. They're going to be very, very positive coming from me. Um, and I hope that we can continue to build on this uh, foundation that we have created and continue to uh, deliver and over, over deliver and amaze our community. So thank you so much, everybody. Thanks everyone for listening. This has been a little snippet of Front End Guild with your boy, Billy G. Have a great weekend and enjoy the new Front End. <laughs>